And you're back. You know, as soon as I first saw you, I hoped you'd be dropped like a bad packet off the mesh net and I'd never have to see you ever again. So of course, I just got off the phone with Tomcat, practically begging me to help you out. You aren't so good at the long-term play thing, are you? You mean you don't stick both feet in your mouth every time you talk to a hybrid? Surprising! Let's just get one thing straight here. I'm only willing to talk to you because I owe Tomcat. I don't owe you shit. So if you want my help, you gotta do something for me. If you got a problem with that, tough. My neighborhood, my help, my rules. I'd be happy to have what they need. What I don't need is you kissing my fuzzy ass. Only people I like get to do that. I'm not buying it anyway. I need you to break up those human revolution protests. The ones at the Genus Clinic on Market Street. I'd like this handled with some stealth. Not that I expect you to know what discreet means. Either way, just get it done. I got clients in the middle of treatment cycles, and this media circus is making their lives difficult. That means it's making my life difficult. Let the bastards go march somewhere else. Like Washington. Not here. I know it's not my business, but are you okay? You sound upset. I'm just great. I'm peachy. My clients get harassed and beaten on the daily. I don't have the time or money to help them all. And I have jackasses like you bothering me on my one day off. So, you gonna braid my fur and we can talk about all our problems and boys we like? I'm sorry, Jess. I just want to help. You want to help? Don't treat hybrids like animals for living out their lives. Shit. All of this isn't even a choice for some of us. You want to know what my deal is? You really want me to get sappy? Skin cancer. Stage 3. My prognosis was so advanced that the doc said my bones were already lost. So I had to do something drastic. Completely restart my biology from scratch. You ever seen someone with a severe gene splice? From something freaky, like an insect? That's where hypertech began, you know. Where my therapy started. You can't imagine what it's like to have children cry from just looking at you. When people just see you and sprint the other direction. I had police following me everywhere I went. I lost my apartment. I lost my dignity. Eventually, I was lucky enough to qualify for the cute kitty cat cure to override the expression of the chitin. It changed my life. I have my job and purpose because of it. The fur doesn't scare the rest of the world too much to let me exist. Better an otaku's fluffy wet dream than the monster from a horror VR drama from Japan. My mom still can't look at me straight. Not to get even mushier, but as a kid, she would sing me a song as she counted all the freckles on my face. She hasn't let that go. You know how your folks look at you when they figure out you finally had sex or did crash? It's like that. All the time. I'm sorry that happened to you. Oh, now you're sorry. You haven't even heard the worst part yet. The amount of gene therapy I underwent exceeded the limit that the Human Protection Act allows for procreation. So yeah, the government freaking spayed me, if it all wasn't hilariously dark enough. First I'm too ugly to look at, now I'm too screwed up to breathe. Saving my own life forfeited my right to be a person. The Human Protection Act. Ha! Apparently protecting humans doesn't include me. Only genotypicals could live in this city and truly think they're the ones who need some protection the most. In any case, I had some clean eggs frozen and we'll whip them out whenever I'm ready. Except keeping that shit on ice costs. And my insurance decided to just not pay up due to the elective nature of my feline gene therapy. So I took those bastards to court and won. And I've been doing the same thing for everybody else ever since. So there you go. I got cancer. Super Science fixed me up and left me a freak. And then the government sterilized me so I wouldn't go out and make more little monsters. And everyone else gets to be the winner by default. Happy now? How's your savior complex doing? This is getting you off? I'm sorry, I didn't know. Don't tell me you would have treated me better if you had. It's never true. I need honesty more than sympathy. You know, break up those protests and then we'll talk. Okay, so I think... <laughs> Wait. Alright, it sounds like we know what we need to do next. Let's go to Market Street and break up those protests for Jess. 
Well, there are the protesters. I have to admit that I still find the vandalism of Hayden's apartment puzzling. The protests themselves have been entirely peaceful so far, and the human revolution, regardless of the flimsy philosophical ground they stand on, are not a group known for projecting their ideology through unlawful means. The more I research them, the more I have to admit to the statistical conclusion that we're either dealing with a deceptive covert operation scenario, or less likely, a radical splinter group. Still, I doubt it will hurt to ask around. Brian Mulberry is there in the center. Fairlight said he was the one to talk to, and my mesh searches confirm that he is the leader of the local chapter of the Human Revolution Organization. He's a bit player on the national scene, but he seems charismatic and camera conscious from the video clips I've reviewed. Perhaps we could use that to our advantage? Hello there! Would you like to hear about the dangers of our country's unchecked use of genetic modification? I have pamphlets! Here, take one! Bunny Fairlight said to introduce myself. I have one of his cards right here. Oh, yes, Yannick called and said something about an investigation into an apartment break-in? He didn't elaborate, and I'm not sure how I might be able to assist with this. But if Yannick is involved, I'll do whatever I can. How can I help? We found Human Revolution graffiti spray-painted all over the apartment, and some things were stolen. I was hoping you might be able to point us in the direction of whoever did it. Ah, well, the Human Revolution certainly does not condone such actions at all. We're a peaceful organization, and threatening people is not going to earn us hearts and minds. But, off the record, some of our younger members can be a bit overzealous, as any hot-headed teenager tends to be. I'll look into this matter personally, and if I discover that any of our younger members were involved, they'll be turned into the proper authorities. I'll also let Yannick know anything I find out. Is there something else I can help you with? Could I ask some questions about the human revolution? What questions can I answer for you? What are the ultimate goals of the human revolution? We hope to educate the public about the dangers of rapid technological advancements. We want to warn the country away from thoughtlessly accepting every scientific discovery we make before it's too late. We used to say that splitting the atom would surely bring about the end of humankind. But now we're changing the very things that make us human. Our biology, with nothing to ensure our safety. The revolution we're after is humanity as a whole making the decision to remain as we were created and return to how we lived before genetic science put us on the wrong course. This world is Icarus flying too close to the sun. It's only a matter of time before our arrogance becomes our demise. Just because we can doesn't mean we should. How do you plan on enacting the social change you want? At our core, we are a peaceful movement and seek only to convince people to vote according to the truths we reveal to them. It falls to us to make sure that people are informed about the daunting and confusing technologies they put their senseless faith into every day. On a personal level, we would like to exhort every individual to try and live more simply and reject any gadget or medicine that would make us less than we are. Why protest at this clinic? Genetic modification is one of the most dangerous sciences we've ever fooled around with. It's playing God on the highest order and threatens to unseat what humanity is altogether. Cybernetics is a dangerous path as well, selling off pieces of ourselves bit by bit for mechanical strength and resilience. But at least a brain-controlled android is still a human brain, even if in a metal box. There is a reason Congress enacted laws prohibiting highly modified hybrids from breeding. Now, I do not fault the individuals who come here for treatment, many of whom are disabled and deathly ill. If you ask me, genus isn't the kind of therapy they all need. However, we must take a stand against the medical research industry that would have us cast aside our humanity for their miracles. 
is there something else I can help you with? No, thank you for your time. Of course! If you have any other questions, feel free to come back. I always have time for the press. You clearly missed doing real journalism. I'm impressed. I think you're starting to get back into the hard-boiled investigative journalist thing. Hopefully we'll get lucky enough to turn up a new lead, even if this one didn't pan out like we'd hoped. What do you think about what they said? I think he was considerably less deluded than my searches on the mesh net had led me to believe. That's fair. And don't forget, we're still here to actually break up these protests. Let's see if we can't figure out a solution together. Make sure to look around and think carefully. I'm sure we'll find something. Let's go and try this robot. Rather wrong. This kind of ROM requires an RFID key to access it. It appears to be owned by the nearby Hassi Bar. Let's talk to the Hassi Bar owner. Ah, that is the most adorable little ROM. What kind of model is it? Where did you get it? It's so moe. They're a custom model. Oh wow, you don't see a whole lot of those around. Must have taken ages to get that case looking that good with the home printer too. I'm impressed. Anyway, what can I get you? A drink and maybe some information. A drink I can do, and I guess I have some time to talk. The protesters outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers. Filling up my bathroom too, jerks. So, what do you want to know? Tell me about yourself. I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Ramona. I guess there isn't much to tell. I went to college, got a degree, took out a loan, and bought this place. Now I spend my days trying to find enough time and money to sustain my VR drama addiction. My priorities are justice, cute stuff, and magical girls. In that order. What else? I pretty much don't leave the store. You don't seem pleased about the human revolution. Look, they've got the right to protest, but I don't have to like it. Once they're done with the hybrids, I know they'll be coming for me next. So I'll be voting appropriately. And if I have to unclog one more toilet because I'm an entitled bigoted jerk face, I will lose my goddamn mind! Why would they come after you? Oh, you can't tell? I've got a cybernetic arm and leg, thanks to an auto cap crash when I was a kid. I also got neural links for VR interfacing. If it was up to those dinosaurs, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now. Or worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. It's already illegal for me to have a rocket-powered fist! What more do they want? Is that your climate control room outside? It does a good job, huh? Yeah, that's mine. Well, technically, it's property of Hassi Holdings. We spent a mint on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs since I usually set it to patrol the whole area. You should check it out when we do Christmas in July. It can cover the whole street in snow, as long as it's cloudy enough to keep the sun off. Sort of like today. Would you mind if I take it for a spin? Sorry, but that thing cost me way too many credits to let just anyone poke at it. I would need to see some serious credentials before I let you mess with it. You know, enough to make sure you can afford to replace it if you break it. Otherwise, no touching. You called touring Moe? Sorry, that's how you speak. I just mean he's really cute and lovable, and you kind of want to hug him forever, you know? A lot of otaku come around here, probably because I own the place. I'm used to being able to shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. Otaku, as in Japanese cartoons? Yeah, I know it's a bit out of fashion, but I'm a history buff. The past really gives context to stories of the present. You know what I mean? I've been to Tokyo twice already. The old otaku resist the new culture of the Saishi in the same way their parents refuse to give up cassette tapes. The Saishi? Sorry, the Saiba Shibido, the Cyber Dead. In the early 21st century, Japan had an epidemic of chronic shut-ins, and the rise of direct-link virtual reality only 
only made that worse. Suddenly, people weren't just refusing to leave their rooms, they were refusing to leave their heads. But as the technology got better, the Saishi were the first to figure out how to use their own brains to sculpt cyberspace. Computers are good at thinking in straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. The best virtual landscapes, the most real VR dramas and games are created by the Saishi. Now, even if an earthquake or a meteor or whatever leveled Japan, they still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. But enough babbling. If you're interested, I'm sure you could find more out on the mesh or use an induction helmet to visit Neo Tokyo yourself. It's a trip, especially for you. I think that's everything. Okay, enjoy your drink and let me know if you need anything else. Let's give her a ID. Business card. Okay, let's go. Dr. Yannick Fairlight. I've heard of him. Super rich guy? Used to own System 1? Why are you giving me his card? I work for him. He's looking to buy a climate control room like yours. Yes! He's getting on in years and it would be useful for when he goes out and about. That's why we wanted to see it before. I need a close look at it to make sure it will suit his purposes. Uh... Yeah, okay. I guess you can take it. Don't bust it though. I scanned this card, and I swear if you break my ROM, I'll be calling your boss. Here's the RFID key to access it. Thank you. This will surely be useful for our needs. Shall we go check it out? 